Kim Bunny here. Welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be doing the Black Widow Challenge and I am so excited. It's going to be a new series here on my channel and the very first ever series. So I chose a really savage one. <laughs> And I don't know, it just interested me. I thought it was really funny and I'm gonna read the rules for you guys. So basically it's not a new challenge. It's from 2014 and I will have a link below to the blog spot page for the creator. So yeah, it's not a new challenge, but it's really, really good. Like I think it's my favorite. Besides the 100 baby challenge, I think this one is my favorite. And so what the Black Widow challenge is, is basically you have to create a sim that is a serial romantic, um, is a materialistic and snobby. And this sim has to kill 10 husbands, okay? Now, hear me out. I've never killed a sim before. This is the first time. <laughs> so, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna have fun and roll with it. So basically, she has to start off with the starter house no money no cash cheats none of that she'll have to find men seduce them move them in take all of their money kill them but before she kills them make sure that she gets caught cheating on them then kills them then has their grave on her like backyard or something or you can have an urn room which is really creepy anyways um <laughs> yeah and you just keep going like keep marrying guys taking their money killing them and like basically your black widow needs to have her dream life like her snobby dream life her little mansion not little big and everything like she needs to be completely satisfied and we're gonna have a lot of victims i don't know if i can do the challenge it seems like pretty difficult but I'm gonna give it my best so the rules are that the lifespan must be set to normal um what else let's see oh yeah all marriages they can have a formal party but it's not like a requirement you can elope but what is a requirement is a dinner party you have to like reach a silver rating and show that you're the perfect wife and after the party you find a new romantic interest and move them in then you get caught cheating with the new romantic interest kill off your husband without using any cheats or mods and you keep repeating this process until you have 10 graves or more <laughs> but it gets a little more complicated than that <laughs> i think the rule that creeps me out the most and scares me and makes me nervous is the stop aging on all households because I'm just afraid if my sim like gets super old and dies before I can complete the challenge but I'm gonna try my best um, so yeah no mods no money cheats uh, the only cheat you can use is the reset sim and you can have as many love interests at the same time as you wish having kids is your own choice but you can earn extra points and the black widow cannot have a job like her job is killing these men and getting their money that's it and you can only marry single men because we are not homewreckers here on my channel. We don't we don't support that. <laughs> and during the killing, it says a tip right here says don't leave the law if you're choosing to kill by confining a person to a room. So yeah. And no repairing items. You can only replace the broken items, which is gonna be hard if we have and no money. We're gonna be buying like new toilets and new freaking sinks, but yeah not repair items and you must max out the cooking skill and the charisma skill so you you have to do these so our finishing goals are that the black widow dies and has like maxed out her charisma and cooking skill and like when we finish the challenge um, she should also like finish her serial romantic aspiration but it's not like um, you don't have to do that this is just if you want extra points and you also get a lot of extra points if you complete the challenge before she's an elder, before she becomes an elder. So the point system is kind of long and I don't want to bore you guys so I'm just going to leave the link if you want to see the point system. I don't know if I'm going to go with it because it's kind of, it's kind of hard to keep track of everything. But if I do end up doing the points, I will like pop them up 
during the video and be like, oh, we're at this many points. Or you know what, maybe I am because it's just going to be even more challenging because points also get subtracted, like 300 get subtracted for every day you needed to complete the challenge after elderhood begins. And let's see what else gets subtracted. 300 points get subtracted for every bronze medal that you get on dates or um, the, what is it called? The dinner party thingy. Uh, it's kind of difficult, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm going to do my best challenge. So here you can see I'm creating our Black Widow and this is Savannah Money. I just couldn't think of a last name. And I know her goal is to get rich and get money, so I was just like, you know what, your last name is gonna be money. <laughs> I'm so creative. You don't have to tell me in the comments. I know I'm super creative. <laughs> so I'm looking for some pouty lips that will compliment her. And whoa, no, no, I'm not feeling it. Mmm, mmm, not feeling it. It just looks so creepy when they smile like that. Yeah, no. Um, anyways, I'm just gonna see what we got here. I want her to be like super snobby looking. Like even though she doesn't have a dollar to her name, we're gonna make it look like she does. So she can seduce these husbands and kill them. And I still haven't thought of any ways to like kill them because like I don't know I don't do that on the sims I just like to play like you know basic uh, household but yeah now I have to think of ways to kill my sims and I don't know where to begin honestly I have a few ideas um the pool is I guess the easiest solution you know like building a pool putting a fence over it but I want it to be exciting I want like every episode to have a different kind of death <laughs> As terrible as that sounds, I um, we're just playing a game, this is not real, and I've never killed a sim before, so you guys are going to watch me do it <laughs> for the first time. I just, I don't know, I never, never felt like it. But yeah, look at this boss ass widow, black widow. So here she is looking snappy, and oh my god, that broken CC life, if you know what I mean. Um, that scared the crap out of me, so we have to suffer together. Her sleepwear, um, yeah, I don't want those Superman shorts. Um, let's see, athletic wear, I don't know if we're gonna go to the gym to find husbands. I don't think that Savannah is a gym kind of girl, she's more of like a home workout. She's gonna like do her workouts on Instagram, I'm on her stories, and act like she's rich, but she's really not. She's out here trying to kill your mans. <laughs> but yeah, I think I got some good outfits. This is just like for starting off. I might, well, I totally will change them. And I cannot wait for the first wedding because I think I'm going to throw a big wedding. And I had the idea that instead of making her wear white, we wear black. Because <laughs> she's savage, okay? And yeah, this is just like a little idea I had. So... I cannot wait. Uh, I think I'm gonna do an entire episode of like wedding shopping um, and trying on like different dresses for wedding. Yeah, I really love this cute little one piece base game swimsuit. It's pretty cute. She's got her, f oh wow, <laughs> her nightwear. It's really sexy. And her lashes, her, I just love all of them. I think, I think she's gonna really, you know, kick some butt, some husband butt. But yeah, let's move her in, Black Widow challenge. And I think these like little picture things are so funny. <laughs> it's just so cute, I love it. Right, so let's move her in to Willow Creek. I want her to live in like the high end, like high class area of the town even though we're gonna have a little tiny house and this is all base game guys i don't have any expansion packs or like any stuff packs i just play with the base game and i use cc content to make it a little more interesting if i get bored so yeah essentially our goal is to buy all these cute little items like those big ass roses 
that's what they're called. <laughs> but um, I want her to have an amazing modern or like fancy vintage house where she can show off and be snobby and like gush about her new possessions. I want us to be able to afford these things, but as you can see, we have 2,582 simoleons, so we're going to need, we're going to need to start killing our husbands, and soon. Like, we need to get married and find them, and just, you know, get on with it. I hate this house, I'm just going to say it right now, I'm not a fan of this house. <laughs> So guys, sorry about that, my game crashed, but I skipped ahead, so what I did was we went to the um, that juice bar in Oasis Springs, and I figured that the first thing I should do is meet a lot of people, get her charisma skill up, so that's what I was doing the whole time. I met a couple of guys, a um, couple of girls, trying to find a husband. The first guy that I tried talking to was actually married, so oops, my bad. Like, <laughs> rejected us. And then here comes Brandon. Now, Brandon was minding his own business, walking around, and I happened to see him, and I was desperate. So we're going to start talking to Brandon. We don't know if he's rich or not we have to keep talking and talking to him to find that out so that's what i was doing and another issue was my green recorder did not get the like gameplay like buttons and stuff but the next episodes will have that it was just a minor mistake on my part so sorry guys so i'm gonna explain what happened what you're watching <laughs> So in this part, we asked Brandon to be our boyfriend, I think, or not yet. I think she's just like getting him ready to ask him to be our boyfriend and start seducing him. So yeah, it looks kind of awkward just standing outside the bar because I already bought like a chips and drink and yeah, I'm not wasting any more money. So I'm just going to like get to the point. She's hugging him and he's totally like feeling her. And he's single. I asked. He's single. He's not married. You cannot seduce married men in this game. But oh, their first kiss. Oh, so cute. He's gonna die. <laughs> That's all he think about. But yeah, we let him go. And I kept like meeting new people, trying to get that charisma skill up. And yeah, that girl's hair is so cute. <laughs> Why, do, why does our face look lighter than our skin? I have no idea what's going on here. Oh, I just remembered. I think it's the skin overlay. Yeah, it's probably not not behaving well. <laughs> but you guys, yes. Suddenly, this actor just like walks down the street. I was like, finally, someone that looks rich and doesn't look like a hobo. And I regret not pursuing him, but like at this point, we had already asked Brandon to be our boyfriend. So I just like, I couldn't do anything about it. But I got our friendship to go up. So yeah, he had to go, but I got our friendship up and he's definitely on the list. Like, I have my eyes out for him. He's an actor, an entertainer. And I think he has loads of cash, so we're gonna work on that. Right here, she's asking Brandon. I think Brandon, if I'm right. Yeah, Brandon. Yes, yes, Brandon. She's gonna ask him on a small little date. And yeah, let's see. Oh my god, the house is so ugly, you guys. I hate looking at it. It's so ugly. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Tim and just like asked him about his day and she's gonna flirt with him and do all of that stuff <laughs> trying to prepare him for the killing but yeah i also forgot to mention i had her cooking up a storm i was afraid she would burn the house down but it didn't happen um i think at this point we're at cooking level three and it's just the second day which i think that's pretty good not trying to like brag, but I think that's pretty good. Like she's already on level three and she's about to be on level four. So I had her make salsa and chips, um, that fish that I cannot pronounce for the life of me, <laughs> and some chocolate cake. So yeah. And my idea, but I don't know if it's going to work or not. So hear me out. I was thinking she would leave some food on the counter until it spoils and feed it to Brandon. 
and like that's how he would die like that's our first death i don't know if they could die from the illness i think they just get food poisoning but i'm gonna try it anyways i have a really old fish in the fridge <laughs> and i don't leave her throw it out so i'm gonna totally feed it to him <laughs> but um yeah this is their first woohoo um okay 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 calm down guys look away everyone look away let's give them their little privacy <laughs> but she was really tired like her energy was down so she went to sleep right after and the next morning brandon wakes up and goes to i don't know where he goes like it doesn't say if he works or not we don't really know that much about him but as soon as he left Mortimer Goth and Bella Goth came over to throw me a welcome party to the neighborhood and I had to get a gold medal for this one also because that also counts I think or maybe not I'm not sure but I just like did my best to get a gold medal I followed all the little steps greeted them thanked them for coming all that stuff um and I tried the fruit cake and she liked the fruit cake okay so you guys are gonna ask about the fruit cake she liked it <laughs> and Okay, fun fact, this blonde guy, forgot his name, but um, he's the one that we tried to flirt with in the Oasis Springs, like rattle, juice, snake, whatever bar, and he's the one that rejected her so bad that like she was embarrassed because she found out that he's married, and I think this is his wife, and I don't know, if, is she pregnant? I don't want to be rude. Is she just like overweight or is she pregnant? I'm not sure. Either way, she's beautiful, and she's the one that I was trying to make our friend at the bar. So, I'm pretty sure it's his wife. <laughs> but um, anyways, they're friends. Um, the, she's actually friends with his wife more than him. But yeah, Bella Goth, I love her. She's so cute, so nice. But who threw us the welcome party was not Bella Goth. It was, I just cannot remember his name. Oh my God, the blonde guy, what's his name? I can't remember, but this blonde guy, he's the one that threw us the welcome party. So they're just chatting, having some fruit cake. I hate fruit cake, by the way. In my opinion, it doesn't matter, but she likes it. Savannah Money is digging the fruit cake. And you guys just take a moment, take a moment to look around. This ugly house, it's so ugly. Oh my God, I hate looking at it. <laughs> look at the TV, oh my God. I just hate that color of the couch. It just doesn't look good. <sighs> But we gotta get on to it and start collecting that money, a bigger house, and a bigger TV. She was complaining about her TV size. I'm just like, okay, girl, <laughs> at least you got a roof over your head. But there's Bella being so cute and taking out our trash. But yeah, the party was a success. It went pretty good. Um, honestly, I can't remember what happened here. Don't hate me. But I think after the party, she invited... Um, brandon back and he slept over again she asked him to stay the night and these are his traits okay brandon samford young adult he's active and fear whatever and they yeah johnny is our next like oh my god he's an entertainer and we just want johnny like she wants johnny but she ended up with brandon so what can we do this is her so i thought it was going to be a good idea to invite johnny zest over but spoiler alert it wasn't so in the challenge it says you can have as many love interests as you want but i don't know he tries like look here he tries to i think offer her a rose or kiss her hands and she rejects him but he's totally digging her but she rejected him and i don't know if she did that because she's like I don't know if she likes Brandon. I'm not sure, but I just, I don't know. Cause she's a, she's a serial romantic, so she shouldn't. But yeah, as you can see, embarrassed. Why is she embarrassed? And I tried so hard to like make their um, romantic meter go up, but it was just not, it was not going well. And I didn't want to make it worse. So yeah, it sucked. I just really want Johnny Zest for her. Like, she deserves Johnny Zest. <laughs> what can we do? Flirt more. Romance. Flirting. And it's just like, yeah. She's still embarrassed. He's starting to hate her. He's like, get away from me. You rejected me so many times. 
I'm not gonna just sit around and wait for you to love me. Oh, and I did. I kept like going. I asked him on a date and he said no. Did you see how rude he said no? But we are not gonna give up on him. And then he puts like a cancel sign on her. Like Savannah Money's cancel. Like really? And then their romance went all the way down. So I don't know about Johnny's Zest, guys. We really are digging him, but he's canceling us. I don't know if it's because we're with Brandon, but we're not going to give up. This is just the beginning for you, Johnny. <laughs> it was just so bad. I just like told him leave, like get out. Get out right now. Just get out. <laughs> and we called Brandon because, you know, Brandon's our plan B. He's the plan B. So this is the part where we go on a date and I changed her into that cute little green dress and we're gonna ask him on a date. I hate his outfit, it's so casual. But I was just like panicking because there were there were no single guys at the bar. He was the only single one. And then after I asked him to be our boyfriend, Johnny Zest and like all these guys come walking in and I was just like, oh my god, of course, of course this happened. It's okay. We're just going to be meeting guys, by the way, from like the original Sims world. I'm not going to be downloading any Sims or making any Sims from the gallery. So for our first date, I decided for us to go to the Solar Flare in Oasis Springs. And yeah, I'm just going to try to get like a gold gold medal in this on this date so socialize with your date sit and talk flirt with your date while flirty joke with your date socialize with your date just gonna try to kill it Ooh, they're just making out in public they don't even care nothing i love that things <laughs> ask for a massage <laughs> God, I love this game so much. Okay, so a flash forward. We're... I think we're already at... No, we're not at gold. No, not yet. But a surprise is coming. And I don't think you're gonna be ready for it, guys. But the date was going so well that I decided to do something, so stay tuned. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, um, so first we're gonna complete all the jokes. Joke with your date. Is that a sloth or a puppy? No, it's a puppy, I'm blind. Okay, so I, did we buy these drinks for him? Oh my God, okay. Anyways, this is an investment for the future. That's, that's how she's thinking of it. She's like, I'm gonna buy him some chips and a juice on the rocks, but little does he know. <laughs> It's the only thing I'm ever gonna buy for him. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I don't think you're ready for what's coming. I really don't. <laughs> Surprise! I decided to propose. So, yeah, first episode, we're gonna propose. And I don't know if he's gonna say yes or not. We'll have to see. Is he gonna say yes? he's going to say yes okay so savannah's completed a more amateur and we got a gold medal on our first yes baby i'm gonna put up the points that we've got so far and, and oh my god they're so happy because they just got engaged so for the next episode i'm going to be taking savannah wedding dress shopping and we're gonna have a really big wedding so stay tuned guys i cannot wait it's gonna be super super awesome and thanks for watching i really hope you liked it and i hope you're gonna stick around to see what this black widow is gonna get herself into <laughs> okay guys have a nice day night or afternoon bye